YouTube, what the crap's going on? Heir of Carthage, back where we left off on the Carthage campaign, which was that we had captured Brundisium, we had extincted the Galaci, and uh, we're marching to defend Lepsis once again uh, from Athens. At the end of this turn, though, Brundisium should be self-sufficient enough, and I can then march... Um, I need to march on Rome, but this is the one army that doesn't have any decent siege equipment, but with no bigger army than the Romans have here, I should be alright with just ladders. Um, yeah, Brundisium is mine, and uh, Neapolis should fall just as easily. And uh, hopefully as soon as I can get Italy under control, I can focus my attention on Greece. Um, we've got all kinds of factions over here. The uh, Arde... Ardea... Ardea... Ardei... 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 Or however you say that. The uh, Syracusans. And it uh, looks like Sparta and Macedon both hate me. And then Athens hates me. So basically need to go take out all of Greece. Iberia is pretty much um, pacified, though, because I am allied with the Sesitani, um, who assisted me, actually, in finishing off. Now, see, it looks like Egypt is somewhat friendly towards me, but all they are is just some army sitting out here in the Red Sea or some fleet, so they must have gotten finished off. Um, well, that's probably a good thing, so I don't have to worry about fighting them. I am worried about the Seleucids. No idea. They probably don't like me. They're okay with me. Um... Again, have no idea how much territory they hold, but this is some of theirs. It would probably be a good idea for me to try and get a non-aggression pack with these guys. We are civilized folk, so you may speak it says as the you chance wish, is low, which is not good. So maybe we can offer a trade agreement. No. Apparently, the Seleucids don't seem interested in either. Um, let's see what it is that they dislike about me. Just cultural aversion. Thank you very much for the not necessary cultural aversion. That's the only reason they won't have any dealings with me, but they like the fact that I'm at war with Athens, which is good. I don't have any money to tempt them with at the moment, but I should soon. That means this army is pretty much freed up. The, um... Carthago Novans have failed to make any progress whatsoever versus the Gaiatuli. And before the Gaiatuli come out and raid Gadira, I'm going to have to take matters into my own hands. Um, I don't want to leave this province, though, because it's very much hurting right now because it's being rebuilt. So I'm probably going to have to wait a turn or two, so hopefully the Gaiatuli don't march forward. Um, we need to go ahead and end a turn right now, though. Because uh, I've pretty much made all the moves that I can or need to move at the moment. Uh, we do need to assign a skill to Hamilcar. And the heirs of Phoenicia. So, let's see. I can upgrade some of these. This one, plus two, uh, plus two zeal, plus two melee, plus two shots per minute for all units. That's pretty cool. Plus two zeal, minus 20 morale for all any... Or 20% morale. Jeez, that's good. Wow, this one's really good. So I'm going to use that one. That should make this army pretty darn effective. Okay. Alright. I think now we can end the turn. From chaos we all sprang, and to nothingness you will return. Huh. We so. will see to it as your cities burn. Macedon declares war on me finally. I'm not sure what took them so long. Um, the factions that they're asking to declare war against me already have. Um, I don't need to call my allies to help, and I don't want to lose my allies by asking them to join a war they may not want to, so I'm not going to select it. I mean, let's be honest, they're not going to be of any help to me anyway, the Nasamones. Um, but who knows? I don't know. Maybe they'd sail some annoying fleet across the sea and, and take out Macedon. Maybe I should have considered it. But then again, do I really want those guys propagating? I don't trust them. Uh, especially based off what we run into earlier in the campaign, but I will say that they are much more tolerable these days. <laughs> there is a Galaci rebel army that popped up around my province, and the uh, Sesitani are going to take them out for me. Talk about having some good allies for once. One more in the back. Very nice. Well done. We definitely don't want the Galaci to come back, and apparently the Sesitani don't want it either, which is good to know. And since there was a rebellion there, that province ought to slightly calm down now that it was they rebelled and they were put down. 
My master judges the time is right for an attack on these I mean, I don't wretches. see why... I, I, don't need, I don't need to join a war against Egypt. Egypt's already beat. Arabia, Persia. Interesting. So many factions in this game. Alright, so an invasion force lands. A Syracusan invasion force. It looks like it has landed in Sicily. Velothri is under siege. Syracuse, Rebellion, and Brigantium, but that was what was put down. Patrician and Velothri. Subversion. Rebellion imminent in Magna Gracchia. Which is true, because Syracuse just got destroyed, basically, by the actions of an agent. I should have... I don't think I have a dignitary anymore. No, I need a dignit... Well, yeah, I do have a dignitary. Or no, that's just... Never mind. I need a dignitary, because um, I could use him to help uh, save myself from those malicious agent actions. Let's see. Let's go to plus zeal. So, we ought to be able to push back... Or at least ward off Athens here. I don't know if we can push it back. We can. So the, I'm not going to fight this because the AI the AI tends to do very well in um, naval battles. Um, so I'm not going to fight this. I'm going to auto resolve it. Find the one that gives me the best chances. Looks like the aggressive. I may take a few losses, but at least it gets rid of that fleet, and it didn't actually kill any of my units entirely. So that gets rid of the Athenian fleet. So that is one big boost. Um, that means that this army in Carthago, uh, which was, is still on Force March. Where did, what just happened? Did they just glitch out and go... Ugh... Do you see that? I clicked a movement order to go to lay by him and look. They walked. They're gonna. They're gonna walk overland. Really? I could go reload. Good grief! That is so stupid. I've seen that happen before, though, and it's honestly my fault for letting it happen. Those are enemy transports. I could probably sink a number of those if I took them on. Um, let's just sail my other fleet over here to help reinforce. And we can probably hold. Magna Gracchia is going to be extremely upset because of all the fighting going on here. Let's see if we can convert some of these buildings. I'm already building wells. That'll help build another temple. And a couple of cultural buildings. That ought to pacify Magna Gracchia fairly quick. Velothri is under siege. Um, Arimnum, I think, can defend itself now because I'll have um, some uh, garrison units. Let's go push the Romans back off of Velothri here. So if the Romans choose to attack it, man, I'm getting all kinds of frame frame lag for some reason right now. Maybe because there's so many armies on the screen or something, I'm not really sure what the reason is. I am going to have to leave my army there, though, because I, I'm expecting some type of rebellion in Magna Gracchia on the next turn. Let's see, what does Elispo look like? It's somewhat under control. Punic culture is slowly taking out the Celtic culture. Brigantium is still upset. Peanut culture is not moving at all, and that's going to be because the Sesatani are pushing the barbarian culture. So probably just a building that gives me the most public order would be good. There we go. Okay, I spent just about all the money I can spend. The Gaiatuli have like so many agents and stuff there. I really need to destroy the Gaiatuli. Taking them out would get rid of a lot of agents and and potentially prevent me from a whole lot of issues, but if I leave this province right now, there's a good chance that it could fall into rebellion. I need to wait for that temple to complete. Just let it stabilize a little more. Syracuse might get taken, um, especially since these goons made the mistake they did. 
but see, Athens does have a small fleet off of Makomedes. Okay, whatever. I think we can defend ourselves. Let's go ahead and end this turn. Definitely spread a little more thin than I like. Let's see what Rome decides to do, if anything. They must be doing some agent actions. Usually there's some agent actions or something when it takes a while like that. Let's hope Macedon doesn't have a lot of troops because I've got enough factions at war with me. Athens is going to try to invade at Macomedes, where I have a damaged garrison. It's giving me a decent chance in auto-resolve, and I'm not honestly sure that I have a very good chance of winning that, so I think I'm going to take the auto-resolve if it says I can win. 7% um, remaining force, 41%. I mean, a win at this point is a win. Close victory, I'll take it. Yeah, I'm not sure why the AI was giving me such good chances there. But like I said, I'll take take what they can give me because sometimes I end up having to fight battles on my own because they're not giving me such good chances. That ought to hurt Athens pretty bad as far as their ability to threaten North Africa. Now, that doesn't mean that they may not have been just retraining troops this whole time. Because although I'm stretched on a bunch of fronts, they're not. So their home country could very well be training new troops. Um, I do own a lot more provinces than them, though, so hopefully my economy will overcome. And check this out. The Syracusans are going to attack me, and the AI is giving me a fantastic chance on auto-resolve. I do have quite a few troops around, and to be quite honest, I'm going to take this as well, because I'm pretty sure that the AI is once again giving me way better chances than I deserve. Because um, I honestly think the Syracusans have a decent chance of winning that. But that'll put down a huge Syracusan force. Which is going to be... Yeah, look at that. Completely destroyed. And I only, only for the loss of two firepot boats that I can easily replace. So, kill the captives there. So that was a great turn in for me. Um, but, unfortunately, they subverted me. More attrition in Vala 3. Okay, so Syracuse... At least the buildings have been repaired. And Magna Gracchia now is actually starting to come under control. Actually, the buildings aren't repaired. They will be on the next turn. But um, it is coming under control. So, wow, that's that's fantastic. Let's see if I can re-recruit those firepot ships to fill in. This fleet is no longer needed here, but I'll take it to Lily Bayum. And that'll buy me a little more... Let's see if we can do some more military sabotage. Let's poison their provisions again. Just gonna get my spy to increase in rank. Evading enemy agents. I'll give him more cunning. I've never gone completely down the cunning lane. Oh wow, there's Arditai transports over there now as well. So I'm gonna have to kill the Romans at Velothri. And then on the next turn, a Remnum's gonna get taken and I'm gonna have to go retake it from the Arditai, but at least it'll give me a chance to destroy them. Um, the Romans have run off, so I'm just going to garrison them in Velothri for the end of this turn, and then on the next turn I'll go take a Remnum back. I could probably use a fleet over here. I'll have to work on that. There's a lot of enemy fleets, though, too. I, I honestly need to build some, um, some catapult ships, and I now have a military wharf, so I could do such a thing. In fact, let's take this navy to Carthage and add some uh, add some ballista ships to them, and that will give me a boost that I need. Okay. I wonder if I can kill this Spartan agent. Let's see what my chances are. Well, I got a pretty good chance to slaughter this guy. Let's see what happens. Enemy assassinated. Good. All right. So we took out. I got a rank seven. Uh, veteran here, that is awesome. Yeah, okay, so that's why he had such a good chance of slaughter, because I'm increasing it. I wonder if any of these increase military training. No. I'm just going to increase his chance of slaughter, because that'll make him really good at taking out enemy agents, and I could use that. Okay, this place is not... Terrible shape here. Good. Alright, so that, that province isn't going to revolt while I'm gone, and now I can make a move on the Gaiatuli. So I'm going to head this army down here to Gadira, and uh, then we'll strike the Gaiatuli, 
knock them out once and for all, bef hopefully before they make a move on Nova Cartago or me. And there's a lot of buildings that I need to build, but my economy is going to have to finish recovering, and to be honest, all this unrest is not helping anything. Uh, as soon as I can get out of this war-torn scenario, I'll be in, in great shape. Take this army back to Carthage, because it's definitely not needed in North Africa anymore. This army could actually be starting to go try and focus against the Greeks. In fact, it looks like, and of course I'm going to click these one at a time, so I'm going to get out of the port. Now you can sail to Lilibayum. Okay. Got them in Lilibayum. Perfect. Okay, and I'll end the turn there. Alright, we are definitely in much better shape now. And it's exciting. Finally, once and for all, get rid of the Romans. And then we are going to have... Whoa! I think that's Macedonian troops all massing up over there by Apollonia. Holy crap, people. We are about to have a fight on our hands. Uh, as expected, the Artite are going to come after me. And there's even some Romans. But there's just a lot of skirmishers there. I'm going to fight this and damage them as much as I can. I'm not certain I'll win. But, um... Maybe I'll get lucky. Like, if their skirmishers don't get used well by the AI, I might get lucky here and, and take them out. Uh, because their army is considerably weak. They could javelin me to death, no doubt, but, um... I say we take this, take our chances. Got a few of my own javelins here, too. And what I will do is land those right here. So that the computer um, is limited on what they can land right here. And let's take these troops just back here out of range of enemy javelin ships trying to land. Nice foggy weather the enemy reinforcements have picked. So the enemy reinforcements are coming in from land, and that's going to be the Roman skirmishers. And that's all it is, is skirmishers. They have a general's bodyguard here as well. And then all of the Illyrian ships are going to be coming in from the sea. So, all I really need to do is just defend my town center and I'll be fine. I'm going to take these uh, javelin units off, fire at will. Okay. And I'm going to fast forward for a minute, see what happens. There's a whole lot of Illyrian ships coming in. And again, we'll just see if we can get lucky. Try and chase these guys down. I don't have any cav. If I had cav, this would just be an instant victory. Okay, let's think of my best way to handle this. So let's move the plebes over here. Let's move these guys this way. And I'll leave these, these units here. So I'll try and use these two units to chase down the Roman troops. Alright, looks like we've got Illyrians trying to land. Has blessed us. The Romans have stopped momentarily. I really want them to try and come after me. That way they don't just run away as soon as I attack. So I'm going to stay behind these buildings, stay in cover for a moment. Yeah, look at all the uh, Lyrian skirmishers landing over here. Or slave javelinmen? Yeah, they are the... Uh, huh. Well, it certainly doesn't make them sound too frightening. If I can just get them to all come into the city and get bunched up, I, I might have a chance of chasing them down. And they're going to land one of them right here in the harbor, too. The Romans are s not pushing on me for some reason. I'm not sure if I can win this fight or not, but like I said, I can probably at least damage the enemy pretty badly. I'm going to go ahead and let them start unloading their ship here, because I don't want them to start shooting javelins at me and just stay on their boat. Okay, so now we can come in. peasants close to my own army, as well as my skirmishers. Okay, those guys are off the boat, which means I can take them out. 
before they get to throw any javelins. Nope, they got one round off. That's okay, they're gonna die very quickly. Alright. So the first enemy unit's gonna drop. And I'll be able to retake the town center. Not sure what... Not sure what the enemy is doing here. Our enemy have bit. lost a victory point. All right. The enemy troops seem to be regrouping towards this vicinity. I'm actually gonna. You know, there's a whole bunch of them bunched up in there. There's more of them unloading from the ships over there. I see a strategy here. It's a little bit risky, but I'm going to take it. I'm going to leave um, just my plebes and some skirmishers in the town center. And I'm going to run these skirmishers and try and... Uh, basically, I'm going to try and come around like that and uh, see if I can trap all these uh, enemy skirmishers here. Whoops. They're throwing flaming javelins, which is bad for my morale, but very good in the sense that it's going to cut down the amount of damage they do to me. Yeah. Alright, good. My infantry getting into all these javelin men. And then I should be able to cut off the retreat if these guys will hurry. There is some Illyrian cav here, which doesn't look to be all that menacing. Maybe I'll leave one unit right here. And bring this unit around. Yeah, the, the Romans look like they kind of know what I'm up to here. So I'm going to try and get around that corner as quickly as I can. Good. Got into that fight. Alright, the uh, computer's going to lose a lot of units here. They are turning around throwing javelins at me while I'm caught on this one unit, though, that just shattered, so I'm going to have to finish chasing them down now. The last thing I want to do is use the rapid advance, though, because it's going to make my men exhausted. I don't want my men exhausted. I need them to be as quick as possible. And I'll just skirmish this Illyrian cab down a little. Caught those Roman units. I do not know where the Roman general went. There's one slave javelin been coming around this way. I'll intercept it with my citizens. There's the Roman general. Okay, those Illyrian cav are going after my phalanx unit. Which is not good because my phalanx unit is going to have to turn its back to these javelins in order to engage the... I've got my own javelins coming into the back of the Illyrian cav though and it should die relatively quick. There's the phalanx there. Okay, Illyrian cab already routed. Let's quit wasting our javelins. Okay. Enemy bodyguard ran away from me. That's fine. Just let him go. Let's see if we can hose him with javelins. <laughs> He's gonna run away from that too. All right. Good. At least we're chasing him around where he can't do anything effective. Oh gosh. Gotta get back. There is a swarm of javelin men coming towards this unit. And probably some slingers as well. The slingers are very worrisome to me. Uh, there's actually a bunch of Illyrian spearmen. I didn't realize they had so many spearmen. Okay. Javelin men. Let's see if we can take out some of these Illyrian spears. Illyrian spearmen are all pushing towards me in this direction as well. I'm going to try and take out the Roman general. Do some skirmishing with my own javelins here. Getting a few kills on those those spears. The enemy general is Good. dead. Roman general's dead, so I'm going to pull back to the town center. I've got to get out of this position because the Illyrians are going to have my guys all bunched up. Okay, now they can't have... 
flanked me, but I don't like the position I'm in, so I'm going to keep pulling back to the town center. I'd originally turned around and clicked an attack order. Our general is under attack. Ah, darn it. These skirmishers got caught here. Just get out of there. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Put some hoplites right there. I'll just put some more... Let's just move these guys around over there. Okay, there's some slave slingers over here. Shoot at me, and that is bad. There's a lot of them, too. A whole lot of them. Um, I'm just going to attack these guys with my javelin men. I just see if I can get them into melee to get them to quit firing because they are damaging my men badly. I'll go into Phalanx over here, though, and just see how many Illyrian Spearmen I can hold back. It ought to be a fair number. And I'm going to have to spare a unit to come out here and assist. Alright, this is going to be tricky. But if I can pin these Slingers down with this unit... Look, the Slingers are just continuing to fire on my... my unit. Even though my Javelins have cut these guys from the front. If I can get around behind here... Guys are holding their ground right now against these Illyrian spearmen. Okay, good. Now I can get into the flank of these slingers. Hopefully, stop them from firing. If I can kill these slingers, it's going to put me in a good, good position. Okay, all those hoplites are in the phalanx. Now what we'll do is take one of these units of mob over here just to create a flanking penalty. The enemy slingers are running. Let's see if we can take out the rest of them. We might actually win this, folks. I'm, I'm not liking the... Oh, the Illyrians are pulling through me. And attack the units that are pulling through. It's going to hurt their morale and, and cause them a lot of casualties, but it's going to hurt my morale too the because I'm going to have some uh, outflanked penalties. Okay, routed another unit of slingers. Let's bring these guys back this way. Okay, but the Illyrians pulling through ought to hurt them pretty bad. Let's get these guys up here. Come on, hurry up. Get over there. Okay, yeah, the, the Illyrian morale was, is pretty bad. And then those, that's their last unit of slingers. Come on, shatter, shatter, shatter. Shatter! Good grief. Sweet. Yes! <laughs> the huge Illyrian force here just broke. Um, they do have some forces. Oh, don't tell me more slingers. Nope, slave javelin men. They have a bunch of slave javelin men units over here that are kind of glitched out, and then it looks like they have one Our unit of lost a victory slave point. slingers that's still trying to land over here. But we did shatter all of those Illyrian spearmen. So most of the remaining Illyrian troops are over here. Make sure my guys are out of hoplite formation. Let's take the mob over here. Leave our javelins and my damaged unit here just in case the slingers come. And let's see if we can go take out the rest of these Illyrian units and cause a complete chain route. It looks like we will have defended. Uh, I was feeling pretty uncertain, but I remember that the AI doesn't always make the best choices with their skirmishers when they're in an urban environment like this, so it actually really should work out well for me. fight first. Oh, the reason these guys haven't done anything else is because they're still trying to get off the boat. <laughs> Look, they're stuck in glitch mode. <laughs> oh, I have no idea what that is, but it's pretty funny. 
Uh, once I kill all these units, though, it should cause a chain route. Let's see, and then I'll just throw in more mob units. Get down here. Maybe their guys will succeed in getting off the boat. They seem to be having issues. <laughs> and that boat's quite a long ways up the beach there. Very good, very good. Okay, we shattered another unit. And let's just click attack orders. These units that are off the boat. About to shatter another javelin unit. Yes! The enemy troops all broke in this vicinity. Looks like all the enemy troops broke, so we defended a Remnim. You've got to be kidding me, that's awesome. So, yeah, sweet defense there. Stalwart defense, if you will. <laughs> You're going to have to come back with slightly better units than that, apparently. Dirt bags. So, that's awesome. So that means that I can have even more pressure on the Romans now because I'm able to defend that city. But of course the Macedonians um, are definitely putting some serious numbers over near Apollonia. And uh, an invasion is no doubt on its way. So that, that victory will probably be um, only celebrated over a short time as no doubt my opponents are regrouping and preparing for more. This campaign is interesting, I'll have to say that. Like, there's a lot of stuff going on, so I hope you all are finding this as interesting as I am. The uh, the computer is trying to make this difficult for me, and really the only thing that's helping me... Um, rebellion Eminence. <laughs> Another rebellion, but the Sesatani will be there to defend me. Thank you, my good friends. It's so utterly kind of them. Help me eventually bring that province under control. Let's see. There is already another Arditai um, transport fleet right there. And then they have more troops here. How are these guys having so many armies? Look, this is all they have as far as I can tell. Let's let's see what territory these guys own. Yeah, one province. How are they fielding all these armies and navies? Someone, someone answer me that because I own most of the western Mediterranean and can't afford to put that many uh, troops out there. Check this out. Macedon getting interested in a fight. Uh, that is quite alright though. I have these troops that I'm marching uh, to back me up. Get this fleet here. We can uh, land this fleet in Carthage and train some uh, much needed uh, Carthaginian ballista ships. And uh, we will get rid of one of these pursuit ships and throw a third ballista ship here. Uh, with three ballista ships, it will be hard for any fleet of transports or navy to defeat me. Uh, here comes my reinforcements, so let Macedonia come if they wish. Uh, they are going to break. They will break. So, with the Remnum pacified, to be honest, I think my next move should be to, uh, to hit Rome. Uh, I think the time has come to, to hit the Romans where it counts and basically put them out of this game. Uh, that will be my next move as soon as the next episode starts. So I hope you're all excited for that. So the, the Siege of Rome takes place on the next turn. And it looks like the Gaetuli are besieged again. But some of their uh, forces have scattered towards my cities, no doubt. So fantastic. I'm going to have to go chasing the Gaetuli. Um, as soon as these ships get done training, I can head that way and try and head them off. But in any case, uh, I think that's all I'm going to do for now. Uh, we've, we're still going to have issues up here at Remnum because this fleet full of Arditi uh, however you say their names, troops. Uh, I need another army in Italy, and I might raise another force there. I have enough money to do so. And um, Brundisium can hold its own now. We should be in pretty good shape, folks. Anyway, uh, Air of Carthage signing off for now. Hope you enjoyed it.